Good morning, Hank. I'm still here. He's still here. So Hank and I had an idea, which was to look at our tweets from 2011. But because I'm smart, I deleted all my tweets from 2011 (laughs) a long time ago. But instead, I guess what we're going to do is just look at what I tweeted 10 years ago. Yeah. So these are Hank's piping hot, frozen cold, (laughs) 10-year-old takes. Here we go. Thank you, Portland, for an amazing night. I may never wear shoes again. Oh, there's going to be a lot that I do not have any idea where they came from. Well, I'll tell you what. The people loved it. It got nine likes. (laughs) This is another tweet that reflects the sort of 2011 aesthetic of a Uh quasi-stream-of-consciousness Twitter feed. Who the hell got potatoes all over my phone? I have to assume it was me. I am stuck inside of around 20 t-shirts. I literally cannot get out of them by myself. The initial panic has subsided. I now accept my fate. I remember this. Yeah. I remember that very specifically. Yeah, that was a Vlogbrothers video. Uh huh. Yeah, it was a lot of shirts. You put yourself inside of twenty T-shirts, try to like break a Guinness World Record or I something know, silly. No, it wasn't even close. So it's just like a challenge. I was not able to get out of them by myself. This is a good one, even though it only got three likes. <laughs> just did some official counting: nine hundred ninety-three dollars to keep it, eight hundred seventy-nine dollars to shave it. Uh oh, keep it made a comeback. Oh God! Like this. This huge, a, huge mistake. Huge mistake. Huge mistake. It, it had, had a, a very lasting large effect. Yes. And you still have to deal with the after effect. Yeah, which is that the first episodes of SciShow and Crash Course were both filmed with a goatee. You know what? Let's bring it up. There it is. <laughs> Goodness gracious. How did it happen? Why did it, why was it allowed to go on? Uh, Why did people donate for that to remain? Well, the thing is, I tweeted that Shave It was winning. Yeah. And that was the mistake. mistake. Big mistake. Tiffio's cover fact, John's name is now as big as the title, which means that he's kind of a big deal. When did that book come out? It came out in January of 2012. This was October of 2011. So I had just seen the cover for the first time. Yeah, and I actually, as I remember it, there was so much negative response to the cover. Yeah. You were trying to find a positive spin on the cover. People did not like it. People did not like the cover. It turned out that the cover did pretty well. (laughs) Turned out it was a good cover. All right, Hank, we have here a tweet uh, about Hank Green, the celeb chaser. Is there anybody nearby who could potentially get me in touch with Skrillex? (laughs) 14 likes. (laughs) Why did I want to talk to Skrillex? Next, Next tweet. (laughs) <laughs> Catherine and I just broke into someone's house. Then we took their dogs for a walk. Does everybody else like the Every Day I'm Shuffling song as much as I do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was like a, a little ironic because it was big already or if it wasn't big already. And I was like on the, on the, like catching the catching the wave. wave. Wow, that's a true snapshot. Sometimes I re-realize that the way we communicate with each other in the world is being revolutionized and it is exciting. <sighs> Which it was in and 2011. it's still exciting. Back then it was exciting in the way that you feel when you're going up a roller coaster. Yeah. And now it is exciting in the way that you feel when you're going down the roller coaster, but you're actually going further down than you went up and you're like, like wait, oh, how this far... Is not- How far down does this go? This tweet only got 15 likes, but I really love it. From the research I have done, I am willing to assert that there is no abominable snowman. I think he's totally (laughs) abominable. I'm actually going to retweet it right now. (laughs) Hank, I will continue to see you right now. All right. Every day I'm shuffling one. I want to retweet that. Nobody laughs at their own jokes like Hank Green.